Whoa, okay, I did this video many years ago. Hello everyone, welcome back to my videos. I'm really excited to talk to you guys today about coding boot camps. It feels like forever ago. And at the time, this was when coding boot camps were honestly in their prime. I remember telling people I was going to a coding boot camp or had just finished one and so much interest was around coding boot camps. And I thought I would do an updated version. Fast forward to years later, as you know, I've continued my career in tech and you know, software development and many different roles. Well, not really that many different roles, but we'll get to that in a sec here. The purpose of this video though is I wanted to have a very candid conversation with you is are coding boot camps worth it in 2024? Are coding boot camps still worth it this year? I mean, nowadays with tech, we see it moving so fast and the tech industry, is that? Can you see that back there? Oh, now it's, yeah. What is that? I think it's just a light. Anyways, okay, back to reality. As I was saying though, so the reality is I, I feel like the industry has shifted so much and the demand for different roles has shifted, some up, some down. And I thought as I was scrolling, thinking, what do I wanna to talk to you all about? What do I want to, you know, do I wanna do an in-depth video? Like what, what's the concept for this next video? And this one I stumbled across and I thought, you know what? It's time to do an updated version, a very candid. And sometimes the candid ones are what you appreciate the most. I mean, they're all candid, but just sit down and have a conversation. So, you know, if you watched my video uh, a few days ago, you would recognize this room. I am here in Las Vegas actually for ServiceNow's conference. We just finished the last day. It was so much fun. One of my favorite things I got to do is actually see the COO and president of ServiceNow speak with the CEO and co-founder of NVIDIA. I mean, that to me, it was like, I'm not a celebrity person, but that was a really cool moment, just hearing their thoughts on the future of tech. But anyways, that's a side note. I just wanted to share why it looks very different than my typical setup. All right, let's dive into the topic though. First up, before I share with you exactly my thoughts around is it worth going to a coding bootcamp or even getting into software development in 2024, different things like that. I mean, I think I would hope you know the answer is yes, it's, it's a booming industry still, but there's so much more intricacies to it. And the fact that we are asking these questions or that I'm getting asked it a lot in my messages and my DMs means that there's something going on here. And we really need to talk about that. Taking a step back though, when I first went to coding bootcamp, the purpose was as many as it's for many of you who want to go or are considering going today which is essentially at the time, I wanted a career change. I wanted to get into tech. I was coming from fashion, as many of you know, and wanted to get into to coding. I just finished going to school for four years at university for graphic communications management, which is more on the graphic design thing, design side of things. And I thought to myself, you know what? This coding thing is so cool. You can build whatever you want. It's it was just so empowering. I just remember those feelings of, and I'm sure many of you have felt that way who are coders. So fast forward to now, you know, I went to a coding bootcamp. It was almost eight years ago, which is wild and insane to think about. And, you know, I've worked at small companies. I worked at big companies like IBM. Now I'm consulting for a lot of very big tech companies, many of you are familiar with. And it's just wild how interesting this journey has been. And then I got today, this message where someone asked, you know, is it worth getting into tech still, Tiff? Should I go to a coding bootcamp? Like what, how do I break into the industry? So I wanted to share my thoughts around that. The first thing is it really depends what your goals are. Coding bootcamps have become so popular the last few years. There are so many things you need to look out for with things like coding bootcamps. You know, if you really think about the quality of the bootcamp, where are these grads going to school? That's the number one thing, like looking at what, what schools are these graduates going to, or sorry, not what schools are going to, what jobs are they going to after they graduate? Are they related to what they're studying? The other thing too, I would say is, who is teaching these classes? Look at their credentials before just randomly picking a coding bootcamp. The other thing too, I, I think is more important than ever is going into a coding bootcamp with a very specific intention. When I went into my, code, and that's not something I did when I went into mine. When I went into my coding bootcamp, I was just like, I want to learn to code, simple as that. And then I want to get a job. Simple as that. I didn't know if I wanted to do front end. I didn't know if I wanted to do back end. And at the time that was okay because there was, it was a booming industry. There was so much demand and it was much, honestly at that point, it was much easier to get hired for a junior role. Fast forward to today, although the industry is booming and there are so many open roles, I mean, it's continuing to increase. The reality is it's harder than ever, or the last few years anyways, to get a job for a junior individual. 
And I think there's many reasons for that, which we can cover in other videos, but it's just something that I think we need to be transparent about and it, this video would not be accurate if I said otherwise. So how do you navigate that then? One of the biggest things though, if you are someone who is thinking of going to a coding bootcamp or bootcamp in general, is nowadays I would really recommend that you need to have a very specific niche going into it. So this might be cybersecurity, data analyst, data uh, scientist, anything like that. But I think gone are the days, at least for now, where you can just go to a coding bootcamp and kind of figure out what you want to do afterwards. That is still possible, but because it is such a competitive market right now, I think it's more important than ever to go in with a very specific niche. Now this is even relative to if you went to school for computer science or are looking for a job in general. Now what I've been seeing more and more of is the shift towards very specialized areas. So rather than just being a full generalist when you are a junior, starting in with a very specific niche will really help you land a job at a quicker pace because you are able to build this very specific role that companies are looking for and having this background. In those situations, going to a coding bootcamp, I think is totally still worth it. As long as you do what I said, where it's you're actually making sure that it's a good coding bootcamp by seeing where the grads work, who is teaching these courses, where do they work or where have they worked, answering all these questions, doing your due diligence because now there are so many that can kind of feel like, you know, you don't want to choose the wrong bootcamp. Okay, I hope that answers your questions a little bit around, is it still worth getting into, going to a coding bootcamp, or even a, the matter of fact, getting into tech. And, you know, although the job market right now isn't great, the news likes to highlight that, social media likes to highlight that, there are still so many opportunities, high paying opportunities within the industry. Now I'm not sitting here saying if you're a job hunter, you're probably being like, Tiff, it's taking me forever to find a job. I mean, I was speaking with students a while back and they were saying how they've been searching for months. But that isn't honestly that new. Even when I was job hunting, I remember it took months to find a job, the right job, especially when you were fresh out of school, whether it be computer science or coding bootcamp. I mean, I think we live in a society now where we expect everything to be instant. You know, we want food, we call, we text, text, oh my goodness. We order on Uber, we want a movie, we go on Netflix, like these, anything we want is so instantaneous that having to work for something like your first job feels almost like, well, it's never going to happen. And listen, I'm not sitting here being naive. Getting your job, first job is much harder than it was when I was getting my first job many years ago in tech. But the reality is every time I speak to someone, it takes a few months, but you will land a good job. Once you get your first job, it's much easier to continue on. Now, one of the best ways though, the, something that a coding bootcamp still really offers that maybe if you are just self-teaching doesn't offer as much is the networking aspect. The fact that when you are going to a coding bootcamp, you are able to build that community, that support system. For me, that was huge. It was something I really needed because I was self-teaching and I could have gone that way for a little bit, but A, I wasn't disciplined enough. I wouldn't have really immersed myself in the tech to the point where um, I was skilled enough to get a job. And then the second thing is, I kept on hitting roadblocks, especially when you're learning to code, you will. You you need that community or those teachers there to really help you and, and bring you up as well. So I think that alone, the network and community aspect of coding boot camps is still worth it. Now, if you are someone who is able to get that outside of going to a coding boot camp, and I'm generalizing when I say coding boot camps, I'm saying, when I say coding boot camp, it's referring to um, all the different niche boot camps, you know, cybersecurity. Um, I, I keep on bringing that up because I think it's such a hot topic right now. But if you're able to self-teach and then on the side build your network through reaching out to people, going for coffee, that is so valuable as well. And you can still do it that way. I just feel like it's much harder, especially as we get older and we have more responsibilities. It's almost as though we need that to be forced into something like a coding boot camp where you can simply, you know, have this intense period of time in your life where you're learning a lot versus just kind of trucking along. Okay, I know that was a little bit of a ramble, but I really wanted to just have a very authentic and candid conversation with you as to how I'm seeing coding boot camps and them evolve over time. To sum it up, yes, it is still worth it. Focus in on an area though before you go to one uh, because I think that will really help you land your first job more seamless. Second thing is, Finding a job right now is hard. No one's saying otherwise. But if you can get more specialized skills, it will be much easier. Tech is still booming, despite what we like to think sometimes. 
It's, you know, if you look at the data, it is still increasing. Yes, there are a ton of layoffs happening at some of the big tech companies, but more mid to smaller size companies, they are hiring so much right now still. So don't give up. I mean, tech is the future. It's threaded throughout every single industry. So it's a very safe bet that it's not going anywhere. By the time it does go somewhere, I think all jobs will be gone and we'll just be on the beach. I'm just joking. Anyways, thank you all for watching and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech, coding, AI, future tech, all the good stuff. Leave in the comments what you're studying, what topics you wanna to see next, who you want me to bring on next, maybe a specialized cybersecurity person, anything like that, let me know. All right, see you all soon, bye everyone.